how to plant and defend the bomb in Counter-Strike 2. T-side always starts with the disadvantage, since if you don't push forward and plant the bomb, you obviously lose. This is important to think about, because the sooner you plant, the sooner you flip sides and make the CTs have to push you. On pistol rounds, or rounds that your team is down on money, you should do everything in your power to help you and your team get the bomb down, and making the CTs play attack. Make sure whoever's carrying the bomb doesn't go into sight first, since if they die, you allow the CT side just to defend the bomb, and it makes it much harder for you to win the round. To know the best place to plant the bomb for that round, you should take into consideration the known and possible enemy locations, the positions of your teammates, and the utility that can or has been thrown. Then, with all the info you have, decide where you're gonna go after you plant the bomb. You need to make sure that you or your teammate have sight of the bomb and a good position to defend it. Usually, if a teammate has a good position, they might call out plant for CT or plant for palace. That means they want you to plant the bomb in line of sight of that call out. Planting for CT, plant the bomb somewhere where you could see it if you were standing in CT. Planting for palace, plant the bomb somewhere where a palace player can swing and defend when someone wants to defuse. You can use utility to help you or the bomb carrier make it into sight safely. Sometimes you can even get the bomb down before the first few kills on the round. Throw Throw smoke grenades covering the line of sight to the bomb carrier rather than just smoke where the bomb is being planted. It can work sometimes, but it lets the other team know where the bomb is being planted and they could spray the smoke and possibly kill the bomb carrier before they finish planting. You could throw molotovs to stop rotating players from coming to sight and throw them on the bomb during the last 10 to 13 seconds to stop anyone you didn't see from defusing. You can also use grenades to open the smokes you just threw or to where you know enemies are likely to be rotating. And flashes and decoys are useful for the normal reasons. When the bomb gets planted, the very minimum you can do for your team is stay alive because the first thing the CT side has to do when you plant is look at how many players are alive on both teams and decide whether it's worth going to defuse or not. And it's much harder to defuse when it's a 1v4 than it is when it's a 1v3. If you're not having a good game, stick back and camp the bomb until you're safe to leave or if you hear the bomb being defused. If the CTs don't defuse the bomb, that means they're most likely waiting for you through the possible exit routes from the bomb site. Before you leave the bomb site, you need to make sure that there's no time for anyone to defuse. In rare cases, a CT can wait until you think you're good to run away, then at the last possible second, run onto site and defuse. Once you start leaving sight, keep your gun out and look for any CTs saving their weapons. If you can kill anyone saving something even remotely valuable, like if they had armor or an SMG, that still damages the entire enemy team and makes it easier on you the next round. You don't want to go for a kill if it risks you dying, since the CT who killed you could just take your weapon for the same reason. What I like to do is once the bomb goes off and I don't know where the enemy is, I'll just go back onto bomb site and wait for the round to be over. In the next video, I'm going to go over how to defend and retake sites on CT side. So if you want to see that video, subscribe so you don't miss it. I really appreciate all the comments you guys leave on my videos. It's really motivating and it makes me love dropping more videos for you guys. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.